Hi, this is Nikki Lead Vet Tech with Posh, and today let's go over some different wrist or carpal injuries, such as like hyperextension, which I've been seeing a lot more of. So different signs and symptoms that your dog has a wrist issue is limping or lameness. If you're noticing a gait change, any swelling, pain, or discomfort, if you touch their wrist and they yelp or pull back, um, difficulty moving, if they're stiff and not moving that wrist as they should be, um, if you feel warmth or heat on the wrist, that could indicate there's an issue if it's abnormally hot. Um, visible deformities, sometimes puppy are born with their wrists off to the side or you know bow-legged um, or reluctance to bear weight they're lifting that leg up and they're not you know even toe touching those can be symptoms that there's something wrong with the wrist um, potential causes is carpal hyperextension so this is where your dog's walking and they hyperextend that leg as they should so normally our dogs are on their toes and they're walking normally but if they're starting to hyperextend then this bottom part of their um, it's the wrist actually touches the ground when they're walking and normally it should be up. Um, sprains and strains, a fracture, arthritis, infection, or an autoimmune condition can also um, be a cause for a wrist injury. Um, how do I identify these things? So your veterinarian will do a physical exam. They might palpate, they might do a range of motion check to see how much movement they're getting, and they might need to do some imaging like x-rays. But again, if you're worried about your dog's wrist and you think there's an injury, contact your veterinarian right away. Don't wait on it because if your dog is injured or if there's a fracture, you don't want to wait too long on those. They're, they're in a lot of pain and they need some pain medication. Let me know if you have any questions. My email is poshintake1 at gmail.com um, or our website is poshdognebrace.com. Thanks and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.